The basic idea is simply to find out how much interest there is in the local history of this remarkable glen, the Glen Cairns. It's uh, the least known glen in Scotland. Nobody knows they've been in it, nobody knows they've left it. The other thing that surprised me when I first started to look into this is that there's no history of it. There's not a book that's called The Glen Cairns. So some of us were just talking who are interested in these matters and thought, well, maybe we'll just do a wee tryout. And rather than having a, an organisation or a society or something, we thought the best thing to do would just be to sample the local interest. We're not pretending that we're the first on the scene here. There's been a great deal of local history done in the Glen Cairns over the years. For example, we just started off with Anna Campbell, and she was talking about the Cars Fair and Heritage Society, which has been going for 30 years. And they've done a lot of excellent work, not just about Cars Fair, but also about the Glen in general. Right now, Bill Blythe has been interviewed on his book collection, which is heavily focused on Galloway and indeed on the Glen Cairns as well. He, he, he's purchased over the years uh, bits and pieces to do with farm sales, to do with estate sales and so on. So he's got the original documents in there. Uh, Lizanne Henderson is going to be talking about the Glen Cairns witches, two of them who were sadly executed for witchcraft in the 17th century. The Reverend David Bartholomew uh, is going to be talking about the Covenanters, who of course are very big in, in this particular area. Alison Burgess, the local history officer at the Ewart Library and the Dumfries Archives, is here uh, to talk about our ongoing ethnology project, which has been uh, started uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and In particular, she'll be talking about uh, recording people's memories, recording what people know, and this raises a whole lot of interesting questions, I think, which are of interest to all of us. The difference between your own memories and uh, maybe imposed memory. We've got a good number of exhibits around the hall, and um, the people who are manning the stalls there are planning to do pop-up um, introductions uh, in the course of the, the day. I think the next step is to, to, to see it, exactly what people uh, are interested in, maybe to run some future meetings, Maybe to have some field trips as well around the area because, you know, we don't always go and look at one another's villages and one another's sites. I mean, it might lead to publications, it might lead to a, a website. Uh, every, anybody who's interested at all can look at it and that way too you can reach people all over the world who might have uh, ideas and interests in our wee communities here.